President Obama <laughs> proposing a new program to help homeowners refinance. The idea is to take advantage of the current historically low interest rates. But who exactly is it going to help? Don Peoples is the chairman and CEO of the Peoples Corporation. He joins our panel. It's nice to have you. The largest African-American real estate development company. So you are the guy to ask for this. A, a quarter of Americans with mortgages are underwater. I think that statistic is accurate. So how many people do you think the president's proposal potentially could help? About 30 million homeowners. 30 million homeowners could take advantage of this by uh, lowering their monthly mortgage payments significantly or building equity into their homes by taking advantage of the lower interest rates. So basically cutting their payments in many instances as much as into a half of their current payment amount and then using the rest to start paying down principal therefore building or recovering equity into their homes by just simply reducing interest rates. The, which, the caveat, of course, is that you have to be current on your payments. Exactly. Which will rule out a lot of people. Well, but 30 million people will benefit from that. And, right, and, and up to this point, all of the effort on the housing market in terms of home ownership protection has been towards those who have fallen behind in their mortgage payments, who have been unemployed or had other setbacks. Um, and, and those mortgages, many of them, we haven't been able to help. But what about all of these Americans who are current, who are acting responsibly, but are not being able to take advantage of these historically low interest rates because their homes will not appraise out today? Simple, simply because of the regulations. The lenders still have these mortgages, and they are charging interest rates as much as 100% more than what they'd be today. Okay, so Secretary, uh, House Speaker Bo Boehner said this. Um, he said sort of, we've been here before. Seen it, done it. Here's what he said. We've done this at least four times uh, where there's some new government program to help uh, homeowners who have trouble with their mortgages. None of these programs have worked. Uh, and I don't know why anyone would think that uh, this next idea is going to work. Uh, and all they've done is delay uh, the clearing of the market. So before we talk about clearing of the market, there are a couple of programs. There's something called HAMP, the Home Affordable Modification Program, designed to help 4 million people in back in February of 2009, and it ended up helping you know, just under a million people. And then there's something called HARP, the Home Affordable Refinance Program, introduced in March of 2009, designed to help 5 million people, and helped, again, just under a million isn't when he assesses that says listen it's, it's not meeting the need already why do we need this well he's wrong by the way the the best we we can't let everybody go into foreclosure and this is not talk, this is not a foreclosure program when you this, say clearing of the market that yeah. means foreclosure well but, but but these yeah exactly because what he's talking about what the speaker's talking about is clearing the market what's happening here is that we have 30 million Americans who are upside down in their mortgages who are current and responsible and are not going into foreclosure mm -hmm. but it'll take a long time for them to build up equity enough to be able to get out of their house and move somewhere else. People in the Northeast who want to move to Florida or who are in the Midwest who want to move to Nevada can't go anywhere now because they're upside down in their home mortgages. But if the interest rates were cut, and so take a, take a, a, a homeowner who has a $400,000 mortgage and they save 3% um, uh, reduce their interest rate by th um, three percentage points. So from six down to, or from seven down to four. Uh, they would save $12,000 a year. That 12000 a year could go towards paying down the principal amount of their mortgage where they're upside that down. That could is huge, Don. That could is huge. You're absolutely right. But does it or will it go to paying down that principal reduction? That could carries a lot of weight in your statement. Well, actually, it's twofold. One, I think it should. But the other option and what I think is going to be considered is that money also, that $12,000 a year that the homeowner is paying to pay their mortgage amount and deferring purchases of other goods and services could go back into the economy exactly. and infuse additional money into the economy, exactly. which again is going to stimulate the economy. It's okay. So it's a win-win. And if the Republican Republicans actually are going to be obstinate on this point. I think they'll lose ground and America will begin to see that the speaker's not interested in helping America go forward, but he's interested in getting political gain over the president. Somebody's watching, they're saying, look, here we go helping somebody again. But uh, do you think the, the average person understands that if you don't confront this problem, if they go into foreclosure, your property values will go down. And you've seen crime go up in those neighborhoods. It will take us even longer if, if we don't help folks who are in this crisis right now. Well, I, you're exactly right, Roland. But, uh, he and, loves and, to hear and, that. And, don't and, tell and, him and, that. And, well, he, don't hate. Oh. Congratulate. No, he, he's I'm right. about to celebrate. He's right. <laughs> and, and the fact is, is that everybody benefits from a robust housing market or a housing market exactly. where values are beginning to be preserved. Look. Right now, you look at the, the economy that's in somewhat of a recovery. It's a sluggish recovery right now because right, the housing market is dragging it down. Our economy is so dependent on a robust or stable I, I, housing mm -hmm. market. Without it, 
um, we're not going to recover. And the only way we're going to have a better housing market is increased demand. Exactly. You got 30 million Americans who can't go anywhere, well, me, even if me, they let want me ask to. Will Kane a question because you know what I thought was interesting at the end of his comment. He said it's not going to work. All they've done is delay the clearing of the market. I yeah, mean, right. that's a tough phrase for people who are literally trying to figure well, out how to hold it, on to their homes. It, it, it always hurts anecdotally when you say it that way. The argument is that from a macroeconomic perspective, you never know the value of a home because you've never put it to true market perspectives. I actually agree with Roland that Republicans don't fully uh, realize the depressing effects that have on an economy. I'd only argue with Don with this, is that we have a $17 trillion <laughs> Home market. Uh, he backed by 11 trillion in mortgages. You're hanging out with Glenn Beck too much. This, <laughs> this has been said to cost five to ten billion dollars. The point is, it's small, and this is just sticking in this limbo perspective, which might be the right place to be to muddle along to home values pick up, and we don't know will they ever pick up. Well, look, the alternative is let's take this 30 million Americans who could benefit from that. If not, they're not going into foreclosure. They're not letting their homes go. There's no clearing here. They're just going to keep infusing money into their homes, and they're going to keep paying their mortgages, so that money's not going back into the economy, nor is it reducing the principal balance. So in order for them to ever be a buyer of a retirement home or to move to where they get, can find a job, the housing market has to be in full recovery. And by the way, the president shouldn't try to knock it out of the park. He should be trying to hit singles. I think that's been part of the problem. That so this is a case. single okay. or a double. And that will be our final word on this. Gentlemen, I thank you. Nice to see you, Mr. Peep